Hi guys, welcome back, and we're now going to finish off that funk riff. So we've got up to the point where we're doing this. Okay, and that's the first uh, kind of bar of that. Now, the second bar sounds like this. Okay, so it's surprisingly tricky even though we're just doing two notes. So let me break it down for you. The first bit is we're going to be on the seventh fret of the G string, okay? And we're just going to pluck that once, and then we're just going to remove the pressure on that just to make it a dead sound straight away, okay? Then we're going to do a, an upstroke that is just nothing, so a nothing upstroke, and then a, a muted downstroke, so we get, okay? Just kind of like how we start the track, and then a seven upstroke. Okay, so we get down, up, down, dead, up, nice and clear. So it's like this. Okay, and again. So as soon as we've done that bit, we're then going to do another kind of nothing downstroke. So we miss the beat. And then we do a muted upstroke, followed by a downstroke on the five. Okay, so all together that bit sounds like this. And I'll do it again. Again. Okay, now the really good news is that you just repeat that bit twice in the second bar. So you go. Only difference is the second time around, we're just gonna just slightly do a quarter bend. Only if you feel comfortable at this point. Just do a quarter bend on that on that five. So like this. Okay. So let me just do that bit with the beat at 50 BPM, 16th notes. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll do it again. And one more time, three, four. Okay, and there we have it. If in doubt, guys, just keep that right hand moving and you'll piece it all together. Now, I will play it through so far, so the first two bars all together sound like this. After four, one, two, three, four. Okay, now at that point we go back to the very start again, so we do the first bar again for the third bar, so it's exactly the same. Equally the fourth bar starts exactly the same as the second as the second bar, so Okay, however, when we get to the, the last part of the fourth bar, it does change. So we get the... Then when we get back to the seven, we go like this. So we just do a run down the pentatonic. So we go seven, and then five, seven, five, seven, five. That's probably the easiest bit in here, guys, except as we move the pace up, that can get quite quick. It's still all alternate picking, okay? Now, therefore, that second half sounds like this. And there we have it. So, what we've got now is we've got basically four bars two of which are identical, and the other two are very similar. Now, I'm gonna put it all together over this 50 BPM uh, beat, and we're gonna just try and piece it together. I'm gonna to play it over and over and over again. And the idea here is that gradually you, you can hear the main hits. So in my head, I can hear dun ka dun dun ka dun 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 <laughs> Right, so just take them really loosely. Uh, 
So that's the actual notes that are getting played, right? And that's the first thing to get in your head, the melody, that's the melody. Now, outside of that, to add the funk and the groove, we're working on that 16th note picking idea, okay? So that's why we're doing this one very intricately so you can hear where I'm doing the, the dead notes and where I'm not. But at the end of the day, if your hand is just constantly moving, then you're basically just inserting that movement into that melody, okay? So I'll do one time the melody without the 16th note picking and one with, and you'll hear how it just blends in. the same melody right but we've got a bit of groove now and that's because I'm just doing that with the right hand so I'll do it nice and slow for you and with this one especially like I said in the last lesson take extra time make sure as you move on to other things you're constantly going over and over this one because I think this is a really important technique for a lot of styles not just funk I think generally even for blues and rock being able to play 16th notes really efficiently like that is gonna help so here it is here's the 50 BPM and I'm going to play through the whole thing round about four or five times. Ready? After four. A 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a... Okay, so in the actual track, you repeat that thing around eight times and then it stops. Now, take your time, try and get it up to the speed, but please do it gradually. Don't sacrifice the technique just to get the speed right. Do it in very small stages going up and up and up, and it can take, honestly, honestly, months to get that right and get that up to the pace. So please take your time with it, don't rush it, do it amongst other things, and I'll see you next time where we'll be looking at an indie riff. <laughs>